Hi, I'm Jeremy Pollock, and you're about to watch a lesson in self-defense. Remember, our goal in this world is not to create more violence and aggression, but rather to create more peace and harmony whenever possible. So we're going to use these techniques only as a very last resort in the preservation and defense of innocent life. Thanks for watching. Now we're going to do our rear marching attack. Okay, so this is if someone's marching me along. Um, so what I want to do is, if he's got the barrel against me, great, right? So I want to make sure I look and make sure that the barrel's against me and it's not his finger or something like that. I just want to make sure that I know where the gun is. If he's not against me and he's, and he's kind of marching me from behind, which is probably a better idea, right? I want to stop, okay? Same thing as before with the frontal attack. I want to stop and, and, and not comply for a moment so he can brandish that weapon and make it more of a threat. I want to get it closer to me. So if he's got his hand on me like this, right, and he's got the gun back, and I say, I'm not going any further, he puts it in my body, probably, right, go. So he knows, I, I know that the gun's there, right? If he doesn't have his hand here and he's just marching me, right, he's just marching me along, I can see the gun's here, I'm going to step back so I can feel the gun. As soon as I feel the gun, that's when I can make my move, okay? Let's do this probably the way it's going to be. So he's got one hand on me. He's got the gun back there. I'm going to, at some point, I need to grab that gun. So at some point, I'm going to stop. I'm going to be like, I'm not moving any forward, I'm not moving any further. He puts the gun into me here. What I want to do now is, again, I got to get my body out of the way before I touch the gun. So I'm not just going to try to reach the gun, right? I've got to turn that body and pop away. So when I turn the body, I'm using this arm to come through here and scoop. When I scoop, then my other hand comes around, and I do the same thing as I was doing before, making my control of my gun, just like my outside of my, outside my body, making my control of my gun. I got control of the gun. Then I do the same thing as I did for the other, for the other uh, defenses, which is here, elbows, feet, grabbing the barrel, turning inwards, and then I get to my position, okay? <laughs> Control, control, elbow, foot, whatever I need to do. Turning it inwards, making sure I have barrel awareness knowing where my feet are. Kicking, turning it down, tap rack. So pop it into my, into my back. Turning as I come here, scooping, around, grabbing, controlling. Foot, elbow, coming to the barrel. Turning inwards, making sure I have barrel awareness while I kick, ripping out this way. Tap, rack. Go. So that was defense against rear march. Stay tuned for some other interesting uh, techniques against different angles and situations. So we're starting what's called a box pattern. We're going to use this box pattern. It's a five point box pattern, which means he's doing five different strikes, and I'm using five different defenses, and we're doing it in a pattern. And this way, we get to practice with all the, pretty much the, the five general directions that a knife comes in. 